This week, Vienna, the stunning capital of Austria, plays host to an ATP World Tour 500 event. As the season nears its climax, every match is crucial. But the key contenders looked relaxed enough as they took in Vienna's historic sites. You're driving around the city, I mean, the views and stuff are amazing, great buildings, amazing architecture and yeah, ni nice place to visit for sure. Really beautiful spot for now and uh, I really like the city. I'm really enjoying the time and uh, it would be really nice to see a couple, of, a couple more things of the city. Just happy to be here. It's a nice city, it's a nice tournament. I had uh, good matches uh, in this tournament in the past, I won one time. So uh, for me it's always uh, great to be back. Before the action got underway at the Wiener Stadthalle Arena, there was a game of mini tennis outside the city's iconic cathedral, along with a few autographs and selfies. The tournament is an established ATP World Tour 500 event, and this year's strong field included a man aiming to become year-end number one for the first time. I think, you know, anyone at what they do would obviously love to, to get there. For myself, it would be a nice, nice thing to, to try and achieve. You know, I'll give it my best shot to, to do that. The player field, I think, uh, totally uh, gives it back what it means to be a 500. We have probably the best player currently on, on the globe. And then there was the home hope. Austria's young star who's enjoying the season of his career. We have Dominic Diem, uh, a young Austrian, uh, going for the finals in London, so it's a great story to tell. He just loves the sport. He loves to compete every day. He wants to have matches every day. He wants to talk about tennis. It doesn't really matter what, what ranking you are playing in front of your home crowd. is always really special. He's nervous in playing in his home crowd, even if he predicts not to be so. It's for him, uh, I think it's a big goal to, to go as far as possible in, in that week. But a formidable field had gathered in Vienna. I'm playing better and better, I think, every day, and I feel it. I won my first ATP title, so of course I'm happy with my performance there. Every time I go on court, it's, uh, I know I can win and uh, I give my best. I hope to continue this way. Viennese cuisine is always outstanding, and before the serious business came a masterclass in how to cook in a schnitzel. We were cooking and it's very nice. I never did that uh, before, so it was a fun. I wish I can be better, but you know, it's, uh, it's one, one step at a time. It was cool, they uh, got us all decked out in chef gear. It didn't make us better chefs, but uh, we looked good. It was harder than it looked. The biggest trick is to get, you know, the little waves around the schnitzel meat. We did make a good team. I was handing on the meat, he'd pound it, pass it back to me. Yeah, everyone did a good job. Yeah, we did it perfectly. The French touch is the most important at the end. The beginning is for the other. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered. Down to the wire, we're at the BNP Paribas Masters in Paris. Morfis has made it, and we catch up with the latest qualifier for London. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com where you can cast your vote for the atpworldtour.com fans' favourite awards, presented by Moet and Chandon. And chat with us on the ATP's official social network, My ATP, now on Vixlet. See you next week.